welcome to Magic Gunning's Draft. Dan here again, playing Dragons of Takir Draft like an idiot. Yes, I admit it. But I am 2-0 in the first match, so I'm 1-0, really. But this is round two. Fate Reforged boosters have dropped a bit. They were really expensive. I think you play first in this format. My opponent is Jinx. I hear and have anticipate, so I will not bull again. So I will find the land. It will not elude me. Do I have a good stop setup? Yes, I think I do. He decides whether to mulligan to six cards. Do it. You want to do it. So, summons, bell monk, student. That's a curve. It just needs a land. Or two. Or three, actually, for the summons. Tolerance invocation. So much worse, but still good. Tolerance invocation was a killer in M13 Limited. A format that I actually understood compared to this one, where I can't even read the cards. But we have this Patreon thing going on, making me do a limited video every week. Thank you for your support. And this is what you get. Comedy! Yeah! Next level is monthly leagues on magicgatheringstrat.com. So please become a patron. He mulligans to six! And that is it. So we are even on cards. And I will find some lands with my anticipate. Preferably a black land. And then... Stuff will go down. Mr. Jinx, what are you going to do? Say that you kept the one lander. That's what I want to see. He mm, has mysterious pauses. That's good because I fear that with a sort of controlling deck like this one, I might very well time out or be in danger of it as I don't know the cards. So I am grateful for his pause here. And I'm ready to anticipate some lands. There are 32 cards. I have 15 more lands in the deck, so I should find one. I am extremely favored to find one, actually. It, it is 17 through 32 times 16 through 31 times 15 through 30 is the chance that I don't find one. And that is pretty small. Okay, now he's gone for a very long time, getting me worried that I am the one who is gone. So I will do what I usually do. We'll go to the Astro Fun Room and check out what these guys are doing. Because if I can see what they're doing, I must be connected. They are resolving stuff, doing things, which means that I am in and this guy is not here. So in situations like this, we have to comment on what's going on here. It's some sort, it's pauper. Yeah. Slivers, banned slivers. With divination, seems horrible. Against some sort of affinity. We are playing again, let's forget about those guys. And here we go looking for lands. We find lands, what lands do we want the most? I think we want an island the most. I'm definitely taking it there over the mage. Um, monk or Monk? I think it's Monk. And now he's gonna play something. Which I can then sandblast, but do I really want to waste that? I think I'm just playing the student of Ojutai here and blocking with it. Because now I found that fantastic land. Should I have attacked there, it was very unlikely he would block. I should have attacked. Darn. Of course I should have attacked. 
He's white red. That uh, is one of the second most powerful deck I hear. Okay, he becomes a 3 5. He taps a creature, which is the student of Ojutai. That seems horrible. And he hits me. And I Ujutai summons. Gaining life. Getting prowess triggers. And then I swing for five. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it here. I can sandblast the hell out of him next turn. I think he'll swing and unmorph some huge guy, but that will just cost him a whole lot. Something else. Strong or monk. Okay, that's now things became complicated. Rebound, casting it. Gaining life. Now I can yield to it. He can't fly, I have double sandblast. And I'm definitely gonna sandblast this guy this turn. Gain some life. And we're willing to trade with him, so we attack with these two. And now it's Sandblast time. He has three cards left. And I'm at 19. Something's going down. Pacifist. Targeting my Dragon Bell Monk. So let's note the Pacifist. And now if he has any combat trick, he lives through the... Go away. I think my deck is actually good. But he can save it. Uh oh. That's a lot of damage. Twin Bolt. And that doesn't save him. And then I can take care of that guy with the other sound blast. So take five. Do four to him. Oh, sight beyond sight. I'm in no danger of dying at all. So what if I sight beyond sight a land, play the dragon monk and go from there. Maybe that's greedy. Do I rather want outcast? No, I'm sticking with my plan. Hit him. I'm at 18. Play the Dragon Bell Monk. He is admiring my 2-4. Uh, so, Mr. 3-5, nothing you do will work.
Uh, I think I'm gonna cast it. What do you think? Prowess, prowess, yield. Twin bolt is notable as well, of course. Rebound. Uh, Ogetai's command seems like the better spell here. Stopping whatever he's gonna do. And double sandblast. It's, is it risky to sandblast him here? But the monk will still kill him. And I do have enough man. I think I'm gonna do it. Sound blast. Artful maneuver. We can't do anything about that. But he still dies, right? We can, of course, unflip his morph. One damage to target creature or player. Yeah, he's still gonna die. So that's decent. He's at two and I can counter a creature spell. So I think I'm in a pretty good place. He only has one card. Ah, Artful Maneuver not doing its work. Do you have to target one of my creatures now? I don't know, he can target the pacifist guy anyway, so that doesn't matter. Oh, or that guy. Play me a creature, well... Okay, we've seen black, uh, white, red. I don't feel it was very fast. We only saw pacifism And Twinbolt, worthy of notice. We have like quick creatures. Target black or red creature that's attacking or blocking. But those weren't too many, were they? Gain two life is tempting. Is it too situational? I'm gonna keep it in the board for now, but maybe I should bring it in. If I should, tell me what I should bring it in over. And I'm blue-white pretty much just because Marshall was in the video I was looking at uh, at work. But yeah, he seems to know what he's doing. What's this done? It is amazing, that's what it is. He mulligans the six, I keep. I am getting excited here. Lightning Berserker. 1-1. One, one. Very nice. Who can pump? So it's very likely the first guy will die. Still having the spell eater on the table seems like a good thing. He definitely does not have another mountain. If he pumps it now, I will be super happy. But he did not pump it, which I have no explanation for. I'm going to anticipate. And I think I need more land. Did he keep a one land hand? Okay, now he's paying for it. Uh, so what do I trade for this guy? Or do I even have to? I think I'm taking the swamp here. 
to make sure I have my fourth land. And there is that thing. Uh, do I just trade the Dragon Bell Monk for him? Or the Spell Eater? But the Spell Eater should be extremely good here, so I'm just gonna give him a Monk. Or should I? No, I'm just gonna take it. I'm gonna win much quicker than he is. So I'm not trading. Taking it blindly. And okay, let's see about this bolster thing now. Here's the Soundcraft image. And I want him to bolster. Why can't I target? Now I could target. That's weird. So I attack. And now he's going to block. So then we could sandblast. We could also... Could we? No, not really. <laughs> Return the Sandcrafter Mage to hand. That would be greedy. Do we just lose the Sandcrafter Mage? I think we keep him back. And then we play the Spell Eater. Who will be awesome next turn. Maybe I'm too upset with the spell eater. Now he has two red. And he kills the spell eater. But then he is uh, down for five damage. Uh, just play the other monk. And then be ready to sight beyond sight. For some serious monkey action. More to scout. Now I can lethal him with uh, Silumgar's command. Uh, return target permanent to its owner's hand. Target creature gets minus three, minus three. So you removed, you die. I prowess away. The field is empty. I swing. And I'm 2 Oh, Not having lost the duel, but that one was fairly easy. Thank you for watching.